Welcome to the channel, everybody. This is Jeremy here in the old Dungeon of Artifacts. And man, oh man, you guys just have no idea. No idea. Just what type of stuff can be found at the site where this here decorated acorn came from. That's right. A decorated acorn. Would you believe that something like this can last in the ground for years and years and years? Say, well, yes, I can, because here it is. You can go online right now, and there's an article on there from an archaeologist here in Virginia talking about organic material that can survive in the soil, regular Virginia soil, for millennia. And wouldn't you know it that nutshells was on there and even leaves? Crazy. Now, this is not the first one of these that I've found. I've got actually dozens of them. But... Uh, just looking for something different to show you guys. So I said, well, let's get it out and see. Now, um, I've not looked at maybe, but four or five of them. And uh, this one here even. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Um, and that's how it is with most of this stuff. It might have, it may have caught my eye. But uh, when, I'm, when I'm going through looking at it, I'm seeing it for the first time too. Now, I think this is the motif you got the tall figures here running up on the sides on each side, left and right. They're facing each other. Um, the tall figures are more like totems, I'm starting to realize, because you got a face, 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 and it just keeps going up. And then on the inside, there should be the two in there that are biting or whatever they do. Yep, they're up here. They're up right here. It's a rabbit and something else. And oh, oh. And then you can see where the eyes are, too, like the bird's face right here. And you can see open and closed. And the sun god will be up here. Yep, there's the sun god right here. And you can see the little rays around up here, the little rays of the sun. There should be a rabbit over here on the left. And there it is, right up here going. It's getting predictable. That's that's good, Right. And an oaky should be hidden within this whole thing, too. There should be a big, big oaky in there somewhere. And I see him. Do you guys see him? He's not, I, I don't think I'll be able to point him out because he's the whole thing. <laughs> he got his mouth open. That is wild. This artwork, I've never seen artwork more com complicated. You know? These people were not bar barbarians. They were not stupid people and ignorant. Because art like this doesn't come from stupid people and barbarians. This is beautiful work. It really is. It really is. Different time. That's all. They just come from a different time. Now, this, I just, I seen that a second ago, I think. Yeah. Boy, that looks like a, an elephant or something, don't it? Kind of. Right here. It looked like an elephant with a trunk. And it's possible. Um, because it's more likely now than ever that uh, woolly mammoths were alive as late as 1500 BC. I think there was some recent archaeological evidence that uh, saying they, they did not go extinct when they thought. But archaeologists, they're learning all the time. I mean, it really, it's a study, and I don't mean to be disrespectful to any archaeologists, but it's a, it's the, it's a stu it's you're in a field where you're just guessing about everything a lot of times. What's that conjuncture? And uh, so yeah, they're they're always learning. So kind of it's kind of um, I got to laugh because people. Well, you didn't make you didn't find no no good archaeological site. Why come the archaeologists didn't find it? Archaeologists don't even know where the original. Um, courthouse was in my in my county you know and that was only a couple hundred years ago people just got the wrong impression no we don't have everything figured out not by far look at the heads and stuff they're holding up i think there's that a bird now that's an animal there i don't know what's going on and uh, this stuff's not just random pictures either it's there's if we would just really truly sit down here and spend some serious time on it it's, it's most likely there's a story. It's telling a story. And I bet you we could be here all day long 
and we'd never see all the animals and stuff that's in here. All right, well, let's flip her upside down, bunny rabbit. And let's see, because sometimes the mood changes when we when we turn it upside down, it'll, and it'll be darker images. Now, whether that's going to be true today or not, I do not know. I see some smiles, things smiling, so maybe not. Yeah. That's another motif. And I don't know if the headdress motif is on here or not. I just thought about that. It may have been. We might be looking at that side now where this is broken open. That might be where the face was. Uh, maybe not. You got... Yeah, see this? Look at this. The skinny figures. And I'm also starting to realize that when, when you see a, a head, a face, it's two faces on one head. They're both looking a different direction. And then there's one looking at you, too. I keep looking inside this acorn here, and I could swear that that's been decorated somehow on the inside in there. Am I am I seeing that? Hold on, let me go to the... Let's turn that back around for a second. Surely not. Let me see if I can't get this a little cleaned up here for... There we go. No. I don't know. That would be wild if it was. What do you guys think? Am I? Am I? I'm not going to entertain that. I'll let you guys decide. But I'll tell you what. I don't know. Hey, look at that. Who else do you know that's uh, on a screen with a paintbrush running his mouth? Bob Ross. <laughs> I feel like Bob Ross. My 15-year-old likes watching him. I liked watching him when I was a kid. Happy little trees. And smiling little birds or clouds or whatever. That is wild. Look at that stuff on here, guys. That's beautiful. That really is. I am still, though, it just, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It, it. Disbelief, you know, because, and I cannot get this out of my head. Two weeks before I walked into this site, a site that archaeologists have not discovered, that is in remarkable, remarkable state of preservation. Two weeks before that, I said to my wife how I always wanted to find something that to where I'd be remembered, that I'd be remembered for. And I think I did. I think I did. Doing this for a long time. That's beautiful. All right, guys. Well, you all listened to me run my lip and all that good stuff. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope I don't bore you. And uh, we'll see what else we can get out there. And maybe one of these days, real soon, real soon, I'll find something cool and uh, we'll get it listed on here for you. Check it out. Hey, appreciate it. You guys take care.